Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make some pinto beans and rice with hot water cornbread. Alright, so let's start off with the pinto beans. The first thing you want to do is melt some vegan butter in a pan. You could also use veggie broth if you want. Then you're just going to add your multicolored bell peppers and some onions. Saute these just for a few minutes and then you're going to go ahead and add your pinto beans. This is just two cans of low sodium pinto beans that are rinsed and drained and now I'm adding them. Then I'm going to season them with some onion powder, some garlic powder, some black pepper, and then some poultry seasoning and just a tiny bit of salt. Give it a really good stir and guys, I know you see me pouring water in here, but don't do that. Please use some veggie broth to give your food a lot more flavor. Put a lid on it and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then there you have your pinto beans. And there you see I have some white rice that I just cooked up. And now we're gonna make the hot water cornbread. I was so excited because I haven't made this in a while. So all I did was add some self-rising cornmeal to the bowl and a little bit of salt. If you like your cornbread to be sweet, you can add a little bit of sugar. Also, I love to add a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, and pepper to make it a little bit more savory. Mm, it's so good. Now I'm adding about a tablespoon of vegan butter and then I had some water boiling on the stove so I'm just going to add that a little bit at a time and then give it a good stir and add more as needed. You don't want this to be a super soupy consistency, you want it to be a little bit more thick that way it's easier to form with your hands. So here you see me scooping a little bit in my hands. Guys, please be careful because your mixture is hot because you put boiling hot water in it. <laughs> um, so I'm just forming it into whatever size patties I want. This was enough to make four patties, two for me and two for Manny. And then um, once you have them all formed, you're just gonna put them in a pot with your oil of choice. I'm using grapeseed oil. And you're just gonna fry them for a few minutes on both sides until they become nice and golden brown. I sure do hope you guys enjoy these two recipes. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And click the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you'll be notified. I love you guys so, so much. And please drop a comment. Let me know what other kind of videos you guys would love to see me make. All right, bye.